Hi everyone, this is Anna and welcome to another sewing tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make this elegant dress. Visit my website annadetailor.com for a ready to sew pattern in 9 different sizes. For this project I will need 2 meters of satin fabric and as lining I will use this Georgette fabric. Start by pinning darts on a front detail and stitch both darts. Turn darts facing down and press on a tailor's hem. And repeat the same on the lining. Take the scarf lining detail and place it to the bodice lining. Join seam and stitch. Press seam open. Take the back details and place them on top of the front detail with face side inside. Join side seams and stitch. Press side seams open. Repeat the same with lining. And press side seams open as well. Pin skirt front and back details onto the mannequin to make sure that side seams stretched enough and pin seams as straight as possible. And that's ok if at the bottom details don't match. Pin both side seams and stitch. Repeat the same with lining. Overlock side seams on both skirts with front side up. And then press seams facing back. Take the bodice and join it with skirt waistline. Pin matching side seams and stitch all the way. Overlock waist seam with bodice side up. And repeat the same with lining. Overlock waist seam on the lining in the same way. Turn waist seam facing down and press seam all the way. Overlock back seam on a skirt. Repeat the same on the lining. Hang skirt on the mannequin and pin from zipper notch till the bottom. 
and then stitch the back seam on a skirt. Press back seam open. Repeat the same with lining. And press seam open as well. Take the invisible zipper and place it to the back seam. Pin one side first and then pin two other side and then stitch zipper in. First make secure stitch on the zipper edge and then change to one sided or zipper foot and make one more stitch very close to zipper teeth. Close zipper and press it flat. Take the lining and pin it to the zipper edge, letting out half a centimeter from lining. Pin all the way and secure lining with stitch half a centimeter further from zipper teeth. Fold back seam on the zipper teeth and pin lining to the dress all the way the neckline and scarf. Stitch all the way from one side of the zipper to another. Carefully trim zipper ends to avoid bulkness but not too close to the stitch. Also trim corners on the scarf ends. Turn the dress out as well as the scarf detail. Fold neckline seam allowance facing lining and make an edge stitch to secure a seam in place. Start stitching from zipper till as far as you can reach. And then press neckline and scarf. Join the hem and trim back the fabric axis, making a nice curvy line. Turn a half a centimeter on the skirt hem and make a stitch 2 millimeters from the fold. Carefully trim the excess fabric, fold seam once again and make another stitch. And repeat same steps with lining. Press the skirt hem as well as lining and make a final press to the dress. And here is the final result, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you were inspired to make this dress, visit my website annadetailor.com for a PDF sewing pattern. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and learned something new. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more projects. And I will see you in my next tutorial.